500 meters. We're here, it's one. <laughs> Service needed for Antonio. <laughs> Needs a new helmet. Where's the car? Service! It's a special one today because the Tour of Britain is in town. Tour of Britain, the biggest bike race in the UK. It's travelling to Llandoyolo for the team time trial today. So me and Anthony have come out on what is an unbelievably nice day. It's like 26 degrees or something like that. Look at the sky. It's so blue. Get some footage of the teams flying past. Uh, <laughs> and uh, local knowledge, of course, because um, you know, you're not going to get that on any TV coverage, do you? I want to ask you the question, if you know this, comment down below, although you're going to find out at the end of this video. Who's the oldest person to ever take part in this race? The Men's Tour of Britain. Who was it? And how old were they? Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out. Wait for me, boys, back! Paper boy! I don't think there's a big there, Always got to go downhill, I've got to get this on the, on the vlog. The, I've never seen this on my Wahoo before. There's obviously lots of people connected to their phones in the area. All of these cyclists have appeared on my map. There's loads of them. This is actually the descent that they were supposed to do before they revised the team time trial course. We'll speak a little bit, a little bit about that in a bit because we have some theories as to why they changed the team time trial course. I think it's full of It's back. It's up that road there. We, we come to you, and there's a sign saying, "Yeah," because it's up this mountain side. Uh, we're talking about Paxton's Tower. Uh, insert picture here. <laughs> do we? Do we have any history? Do we know anything about Paxton's Tower? No, it's a Pax Temple's death. <laughs> <laughs> okay, start order. We have it. I've saved it. Ooh, same pair are off first. Yeah. And then, and then Swift Carbon. Two X teams in mine. We haven't decided what we're going to do yet. We've actually got a nice spot here. We might end up scooting across the lane and seeing them at the finish, but um, Ants doesn't think we'll beat them. I think we do. We'll, we'll create the suspense for the video. We're going to hammer it across the lane, all uphill, take the Strava segments. But it should be interesting to see Ribble come through. The route's been changed. It's now mainly flat with like a slight hill at the end. I was saying that they've changed the course and no joke, like when we rode it and we did that video, I reckon somebody saw it high up and they were like, no, it's not, uh, it's not appropriate. Like, if we can't make it, like, there's no way our Philippe's going to be able to do it. <laughs> Am I missing it? Riding okay. the riding the tour. Well, I've never been a big fan of watching bike races. Anyway, doesn't matter what it is. I don't miss the circus. It's because you know so much about it, isn't it, you know how it works, you know the intricacies yeah. of... Mm. Like I know what they'll be doing now, you know, like the first team off now, they'll be, they'll all be off the turbos, the mechanics are putting the back wheel in, they're putting their helmets on, last gel. But I've never done a team type for. Yeah, aside from, that's what I'm interested to see and a lot of people are interested to see what Ribble will do. They invest a lot in their aerodynamics and yeah, with, uh, their... Early on the season when there was much racing not going on, they were making their riders ride a lot of... Time trials. Yeah. yeah. Plus they've got to keep James Shaw in GC position. We were saying earlier about them changing the course. We think it's because they wanted to keep it um, more tight for the GC battle. Yeah, and it is, it is such a route, I think, this one, that there is no decisive day, so it could be a, a case of, like yesterday, Carpenter wins, and that could be the winning margin. There's only four of them there. 
Is there only four? Yeah. Who's it? Who's one, two, five? You, you, you can burn your riders, but like, we're still really early in the, in the effort. Also, they always say with team time trials, the more ragged you look, the faster you're going. Oh, look at the team car ribble. Our team car's overkill, isn't it? Yeah, oh, Sammy Wilson. So good, good Griff, Gibson, Bingham and Shaw were in that front four then. They're all good time trials, eh? Hmm. The Griff is in here. They won the British TTT challenge. And Dan Bingham is. Like a World Tour team, would have more strength and depth. So like, yeah. these guys blow in their guys early. Chances are when they come through, they won't have, they'll have six riders. Yeah. And that's the difference, the strength and depth, like. Motorbike always gives us the warning. Very, very nice tarmac here, by the way. <laughs> Always amazes me how close the team cars drive to one another. <laughs> here they come. Five jumbo riders. And a world van art. I know, <laughs> short left foot egg, jump on the way. They are shifting a bit. They were shifting. All six? Yeah. So, jumbo the fastest time so far. Jumbo the fastest time. Almost a minute ah. quick in the red ball. Yeah. But, I mean, they had a full squad when they came past us, didn't they? So they had six six engines against four. Can we get across country the mile and a half or whatever it is? Full quick step, get there. For Ed Lance versus Al Philippe, Tim de Klerk. I don't know if you can see the big dorm building down there. You probably can't, but you will on the TV anyway. But uh, yeah. That's how they finished, but we won't be able to go in and see it. They've shut it off. So uh, me and Anthony are just descending this lane. And we're going to try and see them at the bottom here where they'll have the last kind of 800 meters before the finish. They should be coming down here super, super quick. Is it a quick step? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alfie Peters. We'll give him that one. Got a great view, yeah. And I got a free tripod. It's a... Uh, farm gate um, one kilometer to go don't know if you can see it it's kind of there somewhere fastest time so far some ridiculous speed like 52 kilometers an hour when you consider like we know this road really well or the roads rather to think that they're doing like well over 50k an hour on the flat road and then having to deal with the pollen like the long drag the climb the KOM there on Strava is like three minutes or something it's probably well under that now after today Sent to Anthony, there's some water there if he gets uh, thirsty. This is echo. <laughs> that was quick. In the awesome quick. So no doubt all Strava segments have been taken on this route now. <laughs> but um, one thing we don't talk about or necessarily think about at uh, times like this are the riders who get sacrificed and get dropped fairly early in the team time trial. 
they still have to ride fairly hard to get to the finish because they have to still make the time cut. Some of these riders, like they've been on their own for maybe half the time trial. They've had to do 10, 15 minutes on their own. That's a long time, especially when you've got other teams, World Tour teams with six riders going up against you. But that's gonna wrap up the Tour of Britain video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the little clips of the teams, give you a perspective of the course, local knowledge and also showed well the sheer speed that these machines do so i hope you enjoyed it if you did thumbs up comment down below we'll see you in the next one yeah this is the last 500 meters we're here it's one Well, said a lot to us, eh? Well, right in a uh, hundred k to uh, start the next day, doing a doing a Lachlan Morton. And it's like uh, it's like me being a professional all over again. I'm back. I'm back in the system. Wave to all of my fans and supporters. Hey! Hey, you doing, bud? Hey, yep, I see all the team cars down here.